Insanity wins. Welcome back. <laughs> We're about to find out what happened to Hobo. Poor Hobo. What happened? Nothing's better after a hard oh. week of paying zero attention to school than blowing off steam by blowing things up. You, Liam, Dean, Polly, Pingus, and Vicky are having an awesome time drinking and causing destruction of personal property when suddenly yeah. everything goes black. <clears throat> you wake up an unspotted mind towel air. They're in the darkness, hazy, and chained. I swear to God, if he says, do you want to play a game? Help. We chained Dude, up in I'm, a well or something? Am I tripping really hard or are we chained up in a well or something? Wait, how is she chained? She's a ghost. <clears throat> Good question. <laughs> hey, oh, no, Hobo! It's your boo! <laughs> It's your boo. What the fuck? What did I do? And the well is being filled with water, you... and soon you'll drown. Hey. Yes, you should be more careful in accepting drinks from strangers. Nah, that nah, sounds nah, like that's... something pussies would do. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Grishka. <laughs> Go ahead. Girl, this is so uncool. I know you have something going on with Damien and Liam, but me? Come on. Empowered women. Empowered women. Empowered, Empowered women. women. Empowered women. Water starts pouring in, but nobody seems especially scared. If you think about it, this was a pretty shitty plan. I don't need to breathe, and Polly can just phase out. Yeah, why not just stake you through the heart while you were drugged or chopped my head off? So everyone's a clinic now, huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm making her Scottish. No. no, no, but seriously, girl, I'm just going to disappear like any minute and then reappear somewhere else so, like, as... As far as I'm concerned, the big takeaway from this experience was that I got I got a free drink. Also, I mean, how did how did the drug affect her? She's also and, a ghost. And free drugs in that free drink. That's <laughs> all well and good, but you're not sure how to resist into asphyxiation you and your other buddies are. You look around the well. There are tons of coins people have tossed in over the years to make a wish. Along with a few random pieces of trash that people have to start. <clears throat> Sorry. Maybe or maybe threw them things. into some make a wish? Who's to say? Is that an old pamphlet on Episcopalian principles? Dunno, I was distracted by that rusty iron bear trap. And I am just living for this glow-in-the-dark <laughs> dildo. <laughs> this video is not getting monetized. Woo! <laughs> Wait, maybe there maybe we can use them to escape. I feel weakened from one of the drugs, <laughs> which is lame, but I bet I can break one person out. Free, who, oh, sorry, uh, who can free all of us by using these three random items. But who should it be? Orange, you seem to know everyone's business. What do you think? Oh, good question. Which of your friends could use an Episcopalian pamphlet, a bear trap, and a dildo to escape from a well? Uh, oh, I'm yeah. apparently an artist. This well is his canvas. An Episcopalian pamphlet, bear trap, and dildo his paints. He'll be out of here in the blink of an eye. Or, Vis or Vriska... The best-selling author of the non-fiction work, How to Escape from Well Using Religious <laughs> Paraphernalia, Hunting Gear, and a Sex Toy. Her moment has finally arrived. Who's it going to be? I'm picking Vicky. <laughs> I, I, I'm picking I, Vicky, I wanna, too. I want to see how this rolls out, because apparently it's a non-fiction book. So. Here we go. Yeah, exactly. Great. Vicky, it is, then. You're ready to be busted out of your chains with demon strength. Demon strength. So mote it be. With a flash of devilish muscle, Vicky is now free to begin her brilliant work. Stacking the dildo, the Episcopalian pamphlet, and the bear trap one on top of the other, held together by some of the pennies Vicky has cobbled together. My long lost brother! The slayer yells from somewhere above the well. Hold on. <clears throat> is, that, is that your silhouette I see, Salil? Yes, it is. And you don't stop this right now. He'll drown with us. Quick as a flash, the slayer stops the well water and jumps down to the well. Damien steals the keys off her, knocks her out, frees the rest of you, and all six of you escape from the well. Hell yeah! Damn, I'm strong. Good choice, Orange, for telling me how I should use my amazing strength. <laughs> and well done, Vicky, as well. Truly, that sculpture was incredibly beautiful. It belongs in a modern art exhibit. It's at least the second or third most beautiful sculpture made of an Episcopalian pamphlet, bear trap, and dildo I've ever seen in my life. I don't want to know your browsing history, bro. <laughs> And, and I like the part where we made the Slayer look like an idiot. And we and where I got a free drink and free drugs in it. Looks like a win-win-win-win-win-win situation because all six of you walked away winners. But most importantly, uh, you and Vicky both win plus three boldness. Fuck yeah. I am the boldest motherfucker <laughs> oh, God right now. Damn. 
<laughs> so I just want to point out, uh, you all away alive, or in the afterlife, or in dead, or whatever. So, I just want to point out, uh, Hobo, you just hurt your boo. Marlo and huh? Luigi were plumbers. Oh, well, Player I... order is decided based on how funny an off-brand version of these two heroes called Hans and Rudolph would be, who, aside from saving a kingdom, are also selected occupation. Start debating now. Okay. Okay. You guys go ahead. I, I have to think about this one. You yeah, skipped the occupation later part. Ho later hose and makers. Okay. Later hose and makers? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello, what you got? Doodle shop owners. There you I go. I knew you were going to fucking go there. <laughs> I it. fucking knew it. Okay. <laughs> we yeah. already started with the glow in the dark dildo. What else am I supposed to do? Okay, but, fair, but hear me actually, out. Actually, fair enough. Good point. Hear me out. Hear me out. You ready mm. for this? I don't think yeah. you're ready for this. Uh, what? I don't think you're ready for this. Uh, you're still thinking, aren't you? Morgue owners. Well, that's kind of normal for us. Cause no, no, no. Funeral like home that. owners. So they not only save the kingdom, but they get paid for every death that was caused in the battle. Ooh, smart. I know, but they can get branding across as they go across the world because they can shove dodos up every dead body. <laughs> I'm giving it the whole. I'm giving it the hobo. Yeah, <laughs> dildos. <laughs> week two, finally in week two. God, fuck. Hey, what's up? Uh, so let's go to the auditorium. I just want to point out, you have smarts, boldness, creativity, and no charm. You are a D and D player. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, where are we going? I have no charm in general, so let's fucking do this auditorium. <laughs> auditorium it is, let's go. That day while rehearsing for the class you play, you totally forgot your lines, it's terrible. But you know what that gets you down? I just realized you're wearing a fake mustache. You start <laughs> yeah, yeah, made it. all your lines. Mustache. And it's marvelous. Somehow it enhances the pathos of the play in unexpected ways. That's saying Actually, something. I think it's made of shadow, because this guy's yeah. an entire shadow creature. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, he probably half made of it. your improvisation is oh, a man. rap battle against your inner fears. He <laughs> <laughs> gave plus two creativity. Yeah, creativity! As you wander around talking to yourself like a weirdo, you notice Miranda! <laughs> it's Miranda <laughs> again! Wait, she's dressed as Princess Daisy. <laughs> Daisy, yeah. Oh, hello. I was just practicing my royal way for when... I am crowned at, uh, crowned prom queen. I feel there is a lot to be learned before I ascend the throne. Naturally, as a princess, I am already great at weaving crowns. Wearing. Oh, sorry, wearing. No, 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 let her crowns. weave crowns. I want to see where this is going. <laughs> she just makes it a yarn. Talking to cute animal friends <laughs> and quelling rebellions through excessive force and singing sweet. Wait, one of these things is not like the other. But I lack the administrative experience. I have never so much as issued a single decree. I wonder what my first should be. You don't have the heart <clears> to tell her that the role of prom queen doesn't come with sovereignty. Maybe you should just give her some suggestions instead. Taxes! Taxes are fun! Paint every student. Paint. <laughs> taxes. Taxes are fun. Really? <laughs> Taxation without oh, representation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. I feel so Taxes are before. a lot of fun. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> Texas are so much fun. She's this is perhaps a requirement that each student write a term paper on the ways in which I am divine or sing a ballad in my honor. I could have a compose an entire through song musical about each one of my toes. I could make them bring me puppies or I could make them into puppies. God damn. <laughs> Chris, um, I can't believe you were trying to get this Texas chick. Are fun. <laughs> I can't believe saying. she's chasing yeah. Hobo's dick. <laughs> No, I never learned anything about I, I don't character. want to talk to her. She just shows up everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> you I don't know how. Is, me. Why do you think I just chose the demon boy at this point? I, at this point, you I'm, know it's going to be fun with him. I'm She's still loving me. She has a point. Puppies are pretty awesome. I think it's the fact of you told her no. So now she's like... I need to find out where Hobo lives. But Hobo doesn't live anywhere. He's hopeless. <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty... <laughs> She At the beginning, I was like, you know, just kind of like get dirt on these people and then be like, hey, now can I join the water? You've lost more. Like, you have yeah. no charm. You are yeah. out of charm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you help. I want to see you hell Mary at the end of this. Like you get one interaction with somebody and then try to ask them out and it goes swimmingly. I want to see this happen. Let's see. I'm going to I'll win. Pay... 
class because we haven't because no one has gone to class yet. Of course we haven't. It's fucking high school. You don't go to class. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> that, that day, day you listen, listen to your <laughs> elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. <laughs> you gain plus two smarts. Yeah. Pretty soon you're fast asleep having a wonderful dream involving caterpillars and maple syrup, you kinky bitch. What? Suddenly Paul and Damien are in your syrup. dream with you, except they're not naked like they usually are in your dreams. Hey. <clears throat> Yo, wake up! We need your help. You goddamn narcoleptic. <laughs> you wake up just in time. Damien's about to give you a... S give up and start hitting you with a desk. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Here's the situation. Miss Boogeyman just passed out a pop quiz on history of misunderstood abominations this is bullshit i don't i don't even do regular quizzes so obviously we're gonna ask to copy your test but you've been asleep this whole time which is honestly a pretty rad move but it doesn't help us so who should we copy instead you're about to tell them that if you can sleep through this class and they can talk this much during a test it's probably not a very serious class this is clearly an opportunity to score some points with these two, so you give them some top-notch advice. Copy Liam. He's into all that social justice shit anyway. You know who definitely has the answers? The teacher. Copy her. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, time out, time out. I want to bring up an old story. Pretty good. Didn't you once tell me when we were in seventh grade that you actually stole the answers to no. a test from the teacher's desk? I swear to God you did. No, like, no, no, no. I remember, I remember. Hold on, hold on. One time... When a teacher was passing out the test, they she accidentally gave me the one with all the answers on it, and I gave it to her immediately when I saw it. But did you pass the test? I don't remember. I, I, Jesus Christ, I don't remember what I ate yesterday. You think I remember what, the test I took in seventh grade? <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> let's see. Seventh grade, you fuck knuckle. You couldn't even remember the end of the sentence. That's the, yeah, actually, <laughs> let's see here. Hmm. I think... We should copy Liam. He's into all that social justice shit anyways. I'm concerned it's going to affect my boo, but... Sick! Another excuse to take advantage of Liam. <laughs> Oi, nerd boat! Give us your answers before I make you eat a bicycle or whatever dumb shit that is you like. <laughs> shit. Should I be good cop here? To, like, balance out your bad cop act? Can I, can I try a Damien voice? Can I, can I try sure. one? Sure. Yo, man, what's a good cop? You guys know the answers are all upside down to the bottom of the page, right? <laughs> I mean, the answers are never spicy and Harris the emotionally unstable wear rabbit. Thanks, Leo. You're like the best. Wait, wait, wait. Did the teacher actually pass out a pop quiz just to see how much you were paying attention? Yeah, I, I guess. So. God damn, I hate that. Is that... Is that was that good cop? How did he even do that? Bolly spends the rest of the class explaining being nice to Damien while Liam rolls his eyes dangerously hard. You gain plus two charm and plus one smarts. Damn! Look at all that charm you got. Charm and smarts. You... Whereas I'm over here with zero <laughs> charm. I'm, I'm the party I'm dude. Party I got charm and fun, not... and that's it. I'm just yeah, the you party got charm dude. And fun. God damn! Have I? So I did outdoors, and then I went to the. What I do? I went you here. Went to the auditorium. Yeah, you went there. And then also the gym. Uh. Bathroom. No, I'm trying to think. Where should I? You know what? I haven't been to the library. I'm going to the library. <laughs> what the heck? You spent some time in the library's PCs. <laughs> Fuck yeah! This is supposed to have something to do with solving algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency. But you guess that nobody actually has any fucking idea how it actually works. <laughs> anyway, yeah. game plus yeah. two bitcoins, which is equal to two million dollars. Which, unfortunately, is equal to two monster dollars, so plus two money. <laughs> I'm rich! I'm rich, motherfucker. Polly seems really excited about trying a reverse Romanian Wilkinson with you. We're still on this! <laughs> the only thing you have to do is get all the needed supplies, which would be fine, except you have no idea what any of them are. Luckily, you've got a few spare minutes to try and figure this out. You do a quick search on your phone because you assume the internet must know something about this. As long as it's related to very weird sex fetishes. Nothing. While trying other keywords, you spot the coven looking over at your phone. Ooh, can, we, can, can we not do this? I'm already trying to get with one girl. Don't make me try to get with another. <laughs> Don't try to get with three. The thickness. I know. The They're all types. 
Could it possibly be they know something about the reverse Romanian Wilkinson? No. They're always bitching so much about saving the world. They've never admit they're into these kinds of weird sex fetishes. Maybe you're not searching hard enough. Or maybe letting your prejudice bind you. There's not much time to lose here. The solution is clear. You usually people sit... You need to come up with an unexpected search terms. I'll point you in the I feel like this is the way to go. If they were staring at me, I feel like this is what I need. Yeah, your smarts aren't high enough. Maybe you should go with the witches. Use your fine persuasion skills with a coven, which includes techniques such as repeating. <laughs> Tell me what a verse Romania will consider <laughs> is to the point of exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. We might know what it is, but we know because of saving the world. So you need a pink romance, <laughs> bag of marbles, and a key little guacamole. <laughs> For sure, Valerie was selling a penguin mess the other day. Don't think we have a kilo of guac for you. What kind of pervs do you think we are? Apparently, the kind of the, the kind of. I mean, we totally have a bag of marbles, though. How about you keep the marbles and we never mention this again? Okay, bye. Fuck yeah. In the end, it turned out to be exactly that old toy commercial jingle. Marbles, marvels, you never have enough. They're perfect for booby shops and for super weird sex stuff. <laughs> See, these marbles smell funny, though. Maybe they're already used. Oh, God. <laughs> At first, you feel like this is not okay, but then bleach. again, you're about to get into some really kinky stuff, so who are you to judge? Your mind is open and your excitement grows. You gain plus two creativity <laughs> and plus one fun. I am the party yeah. boy. Yes, you I, are. I have to the case. The only one who's going to get a date. <laughs> I, I, according to this, I already have a date. I just got to get everything together for the after party. <laughs> Everyone choose a brand. Uh, Kellogg's. Craft. Okay, apparently we're going Adidas. I don't care. It doesn't have the to be. The players decide based on how funny and crazy it would be if the selected brand teamed up with a popular K Park group that starred in all their ads. Start debating oh, now. Damn. Fuck. I, I'm I'm immediately out of this run because I chose yeah. Adidas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what you, you you I pick Craft back in like Craft. I, I pick Kellogg's, but I feel Kellogg's. like they always do Kellogg's. Kellogg's is a lot of shit. I feel like we all picked right, like boring shit. I'm just gonna throw. We it really did. Yeah, we did. Pingus. Hey. The order is restored. <laughs> the natural order is restored. Lunchtime. Oh wait, 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 wait. We only have. Oh god damn! I gotta take this time. I didn't move my mouse. The game just knew where I wanted to sit. Be <laughs> concerned about that. Because apparently, well, I, I guess my mouse loaded right now. You take your seat, and if you didn't know any better, you would say that it was. Oh, I forgot to go to. Okay, I'll have to catch her on the next one. I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go buy the penguin mask. If you know any better, you would say mask. that seems like very impolite. Oh, most interested in their phones than they are in you, and you do know better. You know that. Yes, that's exactly what's happening right now. Nothing personal, Pangos. Stop. Holly and I are very engrossed in texting our financial slaves. Yeah, it's pretty hard to co to compete with some guy whose fetish is buying you anything you want. That's like my fetish too. <laughs> Not buying things for people and having people buy things for me. Duh. Maybe I can use this Good. moment to get the guacamole. <laughs> Good thing he's rich enough to take care of us both. You know. What they say, true friendship is sharing secrets and financial slaves. Still, I do worry that this arrangement might not be sustainable. What happens if he runs out of money? Our cash flow instantly stops. Besides, being handed everything you want on a platter, in this case the platter being an online money transferring platform, is almost boring. Yeah, that it's a little less boring when you're as much... When you're on as much acid as I am right now. <laughs> But I see what you mean. If we could somehow turn this into a business venture, then maybe it could be interesting. And we could continue to profit even after he's gone broke from catering to our every whim. I, I mean, mean, how interesting you think businesses actually actually is. Since he's so obsessed with us, we should just tell him to like do something totally insane and see if he does it. So no, we're not giving away his money and getting into hijinks is great and all, but I want to start making real money. And I think money is fine and all, but my favorite thing is current is currently. I was like, this currency is. Oh, my favorite currency is chaos. Risk, are you having a stroke? <laughs> this seems like the ladies are at a very exciting crossroads. Maybe our random bystanders can give them a nudge in the right direction. You can easily grow this arrangement into a business. Just escalate and delegate. Have the financial slave go and acquire 
some financial slave to give him money and have that financial slave go and find a financial slave or tell him to marry a goddamn llama. That's everything to me. So basically, one was pyramid scheme and one was marrying a llama. One was a pyramid except, scheme and one was become a furry. Except it wasn't a llama, it was an alpaca. And it wasn't a wedding, it was a bar mitzvah. <laughs> bar mitzvah. Okay, look, even if we don't do this, can we still, like, talk? Because this is fun. It was exactly the same. <laughs> no, I don't think this is my scene. I'm going to go check on my illegal law firm. Catch you weirdos later. So, does that mean they're practicing without passing the bar, I guess? Pingus, you'll never believe this. It turns out the financial slave has actually been talking to a llama for a few months now through a llama monster dating site. He says Bruh. he's a commit commitment phobe and never really defined the terms of his relationship with the llama. He keeps introducing him as a friend, but he knows now it's because he was just scared of being hurt. He's taking this as a sure sign that he has to be brave and commit to the llama, now they're heading for the ceremony. Of course, he says I'll have to take his leave of our group chat since his heart and wallet now belong to another. Specifically, a llama. Isn't it the sweetest love story you've ever heard? I'm so glad we got to make it happen together. That is the sweetest love story you've ever heard, or something. But hey, maybe you and Polly will end up having a love story of your own. <clears throat> if I can find that goddamn kilo of guacamole. I mean, I don't really have like. I don't, like <laughs> I don't what do you do? I'm not well, really you can go anyone. sit with Kellogg's. <laughs> no, because then I take away Damien. I don't care. I want Briss to have fun. So go to Catwoman. That's Just the shop. There. I don't want to talk to Miranda. <laughs> Fuck her. <laughs> oh, that's our oh, Money oh, causes pocket score. cancer in the long run. You don't want to get pocket cancer quick. Give me that dangerous money you have in your still healthy pockets. Uh, oh, this. Oh, oh. Oh, I can buy the oh, Penguin Max, but where do I get the where do I get the kilo of guacamole? What's right? What's right before it? Cocaine. 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 Oh, like a regular cocaine. <laughs> Yo, give me that Bob Ross poster. Fuck yeah. Done! <laughs> Fuck yeah, motivational poster. Give me the Bob Ross poster. I'll take that shit. Briscoe, where well, you wanna I go? Where I'm sitting, I'm gonna sit with my boy Damien. Find Scott and Damien shoving hot dogs and mashed potatoes in their mouths. Where do I get a kilo of guacamole? <laughs> go, boys, go, munch your way to oh, victory. Wait, that's the coach. That's the ah, there's no to do a sport on an eating contest. Then crotch! <laughs> Dude, go, go ahead. She'll zoof and let me eat. It looks like it's a pretty fair fight so far, but where's the fun in that? Time to step in and tip the balance. Distract Scott with surprise fireworks, slather Damien's dogs, and holy ketchup. Crack, Scott. What the hell were you planning on setting off these fireworks in here anyway? You let them rip. <laughs> hey, hey, oi! Stop that! Who did that? Who's making noise? I'm yelling because I'm scared. <laughs> they found the Scott, the Viet Cong. Oh lordy, it's Nam all over again. <laughs> Scott, <laughs> Scott, I don't the Vietnam flashback in this game. Damien lets out a sigh of equal parts relief and mashed potatoes. Ah, thanks. I was just eating like I normally do when those idiots came over and turned it into a sport. <laughs> it's not my fault it's I eat so scared. fast. I've got a little furnace in my stomach. Damien lets you have some of his half-chewed hot dogs. Nice. Some say that's almost like making out with him. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for joining us. Like, I'll describe you enjoyed. And catch us next time and see if we can actually go to prom with a date. <laughs>